Hi there, welcome to the uh, demonstration video for the U-Surface Mesh plugin. Uh, today we're going to uh, create water inside of a um, sunken part of the landscape, which I've already gone around the landscape here and produced uh, a sunken part. So this would be like some sort of lake. So what we need to do is drag um, the plugin in, which to get to the plugin you would go to search classes and type in usurf. That brings up the usurface mesh grid. We drag that into the center of the pool and then lift it up with the Z axis. And once in there, we can just choose autofill. That will then fill the landscape so that the pool is uh, filled with the mesh. Now, if it doesn't quite achieve uh, the edge, we can change the values ourselves, or we can change the autofill settings under the autofill section. So here we have autofill samples. Now, what this is doing is it's sending out rays 64 times in a circle, and sometimes you may get it so that it hits one edge and then hits another but doesn't detect the centre part. So if we increase the number of rays that are sent out to 128 and choose auto fill again, it now sends one ray out just where we need it to expand the, uh, the fill area. And then once we've done that we just choose create mesh. So that automatically produces a, a quad based mesh. And then to actually make it so that we clip away the polygons on the edge, we just choose remove polygons. So if we want to change that we can always lift it up and it just recalculates which uh, polygons are being removed. If we want to recalculate the autofill then we can just choose autofill again. You're free to rotate the mesh as well, any angle. Just choose auto fill again, and it will always try to fill it. You can also choose snap to grid, so therefore it will snap um, to the surface of um, the grid lines of the landscape. And if we change it to top view, And we can see that the plugin is aligned with the landscape's quads. So we'll create the mesh again. And then we can also change the material that's on, on the mesh. Now if we go to U Surface Mesh and then to materials we can apply a lake water so this now allows us to see the surface displacing which if you change the complexity to 1 then it won't displace as much whereas higher values it will be able to calculate that there's more vertices on the surface And then again when we're happy, we just uh, go to the stamp mesh section. We don't have to choose a LOD group if we don't want to. We'll choose where we want to stamp the mesh. We can choose a random name if we want to. And then just choose stamp mesh. And then for this, we'll just make no collision. Okay, so thanks for uh, joining me for this video, I'll see you in the next one.